Good morning, it's autumn here in the White Mountains, and the leaves on the aspen trees have begun to turn yellow, putting on a little show. The foliage is pretty to look at, but it's a little weak on action and plot. Which brings us to today's anime. Angel's Egg. Director Mamoru Oshii is probably best known for his two Ghost in the Shell movies, the Pat Waver movies, and the recent Skycrawlers. Oshii began his movie-making career with a pair of Urusei Yatsura movies that followed from his work on that TV series. After directing the second film, Beautiful Dreamer, as well as making the first direct-to-video anime OVA, Dallas, Oshii left Urusei Yatsura to try something different. He returned to anime the next year by writing and directing the gorgeous anime Angel's Egg. It's definitely different than a lum comedy. Angel's Egg is Oshii's complex allegorical meditation on his Christian faith. On a bleak, wasted landscape, we encounter two characters. A young girl wakes after sleeping, cradling her precious egg. She's clothed in white and has a vaguely luminous glow about her, the epitome of innocence. She carries the large egg with her beneath her dress as if she were pregnant. She heads off across this landscape to an empty, ruined city. Because she seems to leave a few stray white feathers in her wake, we might well presume that this is the angel of the title. In the city, she meets a man. He arrives astride a crimson tank, one of a line that parades through the street, and he carries a cross on his shoulder as if it was his rifle. The girl is suspicious that the man intends to harm her egg, and yet, as the day proceeds, she comes to accept his presence. I say day, although in this dreary, overcast landscape, I'm not sure there really is a day or night. The girl wanders and scavenges through the city. She collects glass jars as she goes, filling each with fresh water. Eventually, she shows the man her hidden discovery, the fossilized remains of a great bird. This seems to be where she got the egg and the source of her hope. The man wants to know what's inside the egg, but the girl won't say. Perhaps she doesn't know herself. Therein is the contradiction of faith. If you crack open the egg to see what's inside, you destroy it and its content. Early in the anime, we see the image of a grounded ark. According to the biblical story of the flood, after it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, it took even longer for the flood waters to recede. Noah released a bird which returned to him each day, until one day it came back with an olive branch. Finally, the bird didn't return at all, and no one knew that there was now dry land again. The girl is waiting for the bird to return. The man thinks it never will. Perhaps this is Noah's missing bird, or maybe it's the second coming. There's hardly any dialogue in Angel's Egg. There's a short exchange when the man asks the girl what's in the egg, and there's another conversation about waiting for the return of the bird. Those familiar with Mamoru Oshii's other films will find this terseness quite different from his usual long philosophical screeds. Angel's Egg is happy to plod through its visuals at a leisurely pace, allowing the music to entertain us. At one point, we're given several minutes of two characters sleeping, where nothing happens except the girl rolls over in her sleep and the fire burns down. That's patience. The only event during the day in the city is when it rains and the fish come out. They're not really fish, but mere shadows of fish, just silhouettes on the streets and building walls. Still, even though there really are no fish, a band of fishermen run enthusiastically through the street, chasing them, futilely throwing their spears at the shadows. I don't think this is what Christ had in mind when he calls his disciples fishers of men. Oshii has said that it's not so important that the audience understand the movie as it feels the movie. Angel's Egg is certainly the embodiment of that concept. Perhaps it's best to think of this as a symphony of sorts. We can sense the emotional flow of the work and we might even visualize certain themes, but a symphony has no coherent narrative flow. Rather, it offers a series of emotional stimulations that suggest a story. Or perhaps we're dealing with something more akin to a ballet that combines music and visuals into the experience. 
the striking artistic designs of the work of illustrator Enoshi collaborator Yoshitaka Amano. He also worked on the designs of the original Vampire Hunter D and other anime and video games. His elaborate, detailed designs work well with the slow-moving animation. Angel's Egg owes a huge debt to the music of Yoshihiro Kano, who hasn't done other compositions for anime. His music is the perfect emotional complement to the video, giving it an ethereal audio track to match the spiritual and mysterious images. The animation itself is from Studio Dean, and while it's full of gorgeous imagery, this isn't an action piece. There isn't a lot of movement to animate but when it's called for, it's very well done. Together, the series of visual and musical stimulations offer faith, hope, loss, betrayal, sadness, despair, and rebirth. This is a meditation on Christian faith and doubt. It's certainly indulgent. Oshii fans won't be surprised by the detailed Christian imagery since the director has used biblical quotes as plot elements in many of his films. With its slow pace and abstract images and religious themes, Angel's Egg certainly isn't for everyone. It's far off the path of typical American anime imports. I give Angel's Egg four and a half stars for being visually and musically interesting. It does require more patience than other anime, and it doesn't yield an easy interpretation. I don't think there are any. I don't even think Oshi could explain it, nor would he want to. Angel's Egg wasn't very popular when it was released in and although a lot of American fans were aware of it, few relished it. It's never had an American release that I'm aware of. Thanks for watching.